Dear friends, welcome to this open education resource on planar chromatography. Here we deal with topic TLC, RF value calculation and determination of nature of compound in TLC analysis. What we seen in TLC, TLC is a type of planar chromatography. The stationary phase remains stable which is a thin layer of adsorbent mobile phase moving through the stationary phase and depending upon the differential affinity of solute mixture for stationary phase and mobile phase we are achieving the separation now as we seen the different steps also add the samples to be spotted sample to be spotted then the mo uh, stationary phase deep in mobile phase allowed to run substances while during the development of chromatogram the substances will move depending upon their affinity for stationary phase and mobile phase substances that are least attracted towards the mobile phase means they are having more affinity for mobile phase they will move faster so the compounds which having more affinity for stationary phase they will not move much more so the principle likes like like is applied in TLC analysis the compounds which are non-polar they will have more, less affinity for the stationary phase will have more affinity for mobile phase they will spend more time in mobile phase this compound will move faster and they will appear at the solvent front in case of TLC analysis whereas the polar compounds which are more affinity for the stationary phase they will spend less time in mobile phase and appear at lower of the plate what we look previously also that the hydroxy functional groups of silica will act as a stationary phase so the nature of stationary phase is polar the mobile phase use is a non-polar in TLC so likes like like the polar compound will have more affinity for stationary phase the non-polar compounds more affinity for the mobile phase so non-polar will go towards the solvent front the polar compounds which has more affinity for stationary phase remain nearer to the spot of application just have a look for this video So, in case of TLC analysis, 
the RF value of the compound to be calculated. RF value means distance traveled by substance divided by distance traveled by solvent. In TLC analysis, the distance traveled by solvent front is always higher. as compared to the distance traveled by the substance. So, the compound which are having the higher RF value they to be considered as a non-polar substances. The compounds with low RF value they are the polar substances. When we calculate RF value, the value mostly not goes above 1 because the distance traveled by substance will be always less as compared to the distance traveled by the solvent front. Question for assessment why the RF value of compound less than 1 in TLC analysis. Another example in TLC analysis a compound E travel distance 7 cm whereas compound B travel 4 cm. Calculate their respective RF values. So if we just look out what the distance traveled by compound E7 divided by distance traveled by the mobile phase. So the RF value for compound E that is 0.7 for the compound B distance traveled 4 and the distance traveled by solvent for 0.4 so the total is 0.4. So the answer B is correct. RF value for compound A 0.7 and RF value for compound B is 0.4. Now what the polarity of these compounds A and compound B which is having the RF value 0.7 and 0.4. So if we just look out the compound which has more RF value means it is going with the mobile phase. So the nature of the compound A is non-polar and the Compound B having the lower RF value means it is having more affinity for stationary phase as compared to compound A. So it is polar in nature. The assessment in TLC analysis of mixture of butylamine and cyclohexane, which compound will move towards the solvent front? Which compound? will have higher RF value which compound will have lower RF value how will you decide the compound polarity on basis of TLC analysis for more detail on this topic you refer Treminter thank you